welcome back to another video on the channel and today we are gonna go step by step through again on how to install one of the best graphical mods to gta 5 and it's the one you're currently seeing on the screen now natural vision evolved but before we begin we are trying to hit 1000 subscribers on this channel by the end of the year and we would greatly appreciate it if you consider leaving a like and a subscribe if you found this helpful of course but without any ado let's go so here we are back at my desktop now the first thing you are going to do is you're going to open up your browser you're going to type in natural vision evolved and you're going to see this raised mods granted other five natural vision Evolved. you're going to click on this exact link and it's going to take you to this page so this page is a bit glitchy um i don't know why but you see two options natural vision remastered and natural vision evolves you're going to click on this before we download this i just want to say this is the free version of the mod which everybody can get but it does come with some pretty major issues the installation might take hours up to days for some of you guys to download it does have a lot of bugs including a metric shit ton of performance problems so i would highly recommend to go to raised mods which is the creator of natural vision involved in other words nve pay two dollars or three dollars whatever it is every six months and just download the latest version of nve because this version is extremely outdated i think like with three or four years now so yeah link in the description to raised mods is patreon page but anyways let's continue you're going to press download and it's going to take you to whatever thing you get external website and you're going to obviously uh, download it it's going to be 12.1 gigabits by the time of recording this which is mid-may so next up after you've downloaded your nve mod you're going to open up open iv you're going to click on windows for granted the five check out this video you see on my screen right now links in description as well so in that video i show you guys how to prep your gta 5 main directory for mods and i show you guys how to add add-on vehicles as well but anyways you're going to open up your open iv just like that remember also to put your open iv into edit mode and also you're going to go to wherever your granted.a5 main directory is located mine is on steam so to go find it you go to the game right click it manage browse local files and there you go so once you've downloaded your mod, you're going to extract it. It's going to say something like this NVE single player package. And what you do is, you take your open IV, you just move it closer. So what you're going to do first is you're going to take part 1, put it in there, and it's going to pop up something. And you just click install and you install part 1. And then you do the same with part 2. And you're just going to do that with all the parts. So once you've finished installing all the NVE parts, you're going to see a folder called Reshade Shader. You're going to enter that folder. You're going to select all the folders and you're going to copy and paste them in your GTA 5 main directory. I already have them, so I'm not going to install them. Now you mostly installed everything now. It's ready to play. But before we begin, you're going to see this other file called optional add-ons. So you're going to open up your open iv then you're going to see all these extra stuff this is the uninstaller so if you don't want to use this mod anymore and you want to switch to maybe quant v you could just go in here and just drag and drop it into your open iv but all these files are pretty simple to install if you want a brighter emergency light you just go here drag and drop it into your open iv and it's going to pop up like this once again and you can just install it if you want a darker like night, drag and drop the install file. I already have it, so it's not going to work. So you know you installed the mod right when you see this beautiful like introduction video. It's going to show every time you load into the game. So this is just to show you you did something right. And just look at that. Oh, beautiful. And if you have 
Our high aspect PC, I would highly recommend you guys to put the texture quality and the shader quality to very high because that's going to enable the shader to do its work properly and the post effects must be also on ultra. And yeah, hopefully you guys found this tutorial helpful and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye.